for you in this lesson we create a very simple text editor okay simple text editor and then we will mimic the idlin.com this was part of the Doos uh, text uh, utility editor in 1980s okay let us start so in this case we'll declare first the variable okay line plus plus zero. this is where we put our we ask the user to enter the data okay or the text all right so what's text we'll declare a variable to hold the number of rows so row line equals two let's say we have only five and then we will read that line okay after that what happened to that line and then we can say line okay so the purpose of this is to ask the user line okay let's say line equals two because we will keep on adding the rows that's why we use the plus equals to increment it okay so we need to use the input okay so let's say input text here okay and then we use the plus n to bring the next line to bring the text to the next line so we have five lines here after that what will happen so if we have the line here well of course we can say print Okay, this is, this is the text. These are the text entered. Okay, these are the text entered. Okay, so let us print that. Then we have here the line. Okay, now when we run the program, okay, let us run the program. So uh, run Python file in the terminal. Okay, so we have to run the code. Okay. now okay so we have here okay this week let us run the program again run python terminal okay enter text here so as you can see we have here five for the rows to be entered let's say hello this is the uh, beauty beauty this is the test okay i love you hey Jude. there you have it so we have the output here this is part of the text that we entered one two three four five and of course after that we printed and exit the loop at the top printing the line okay so we have the output right here these are the text entered now what if we uh, increase the line to 7 well that is admissible to 10 to 11 it's up to you now you can also put here what you call this the exception the purpose of exception is of course to track the program during runtime so you can use try okay to be safe okay uh, this was discussed in our previous tutorial okay please check my video and then line equals to input and then we can use here what the cuts except i'm sorry oh, so we have different types exception all right so print this other text entered okay so, and then we oops we need to what print oops error we need to cut the error right here and then we put here okay now if you run the program okay let's run it again all right and text right here okay so if anything uh, uh goes wrong well of course this will be displayed okay the ops error this is to cut the error during the runtime all right what if we apply of course the encryption all right because we this is the continuation of our previous discussion of hashing how to write the encryption right here so we need only to write a function for encryption to encrypt this reverse sync the text for example def encrypt okay data and then you can put the parameter here any variable so i will put here let's say in encrypt one okay i'm putting one to avoid any similarities of my variable to the existing what you call this um, menu 
statements or constructors or any um, commands from Python. Now what happened? We have we will declare the variable is tr equals to the purpose of this is well of course this is where we store the text later on. Okay, to be uh, reversed by this code for okay let's say um, count one okay in ink one. So we have to use str equals to str, uh, str plus. Of course, we can use str plus one. That's that, that, that's wrong. We can use it starting to the beginning of the statement and of course reversing it to the end of the line. Okay, that's the purpose of that str. Now we have it here. So this will return the value of str. If you put it here, that's wrong. Therefore, we put it in the main program to end the statement. This is the parameter that will be returned to the main program. So it, this will represent a single parameter for the line so if we encrypt this thing okay print this is the text entered okay at the same time this is the encrypted what text now if we put that here we can say print of course because this is a function the purpose of this function is to what reverse the text okay so we need to put it right here. So what happened here? Let's say we can use uh, uh, enter the parameter of encrypt data. Let us copy that. Okay, to be sure that this is the exact uh, function we have. And then remember we have the parameter inc one. It represents for the string. And then we look for that string. At the same time we assign inc one to the last part of the uh, the text so that it will reverse from the very beginning when displayed okay so, so the input the, the input there was the line okay line so when we run the program again okay let's say oh sorry <laughs> so we have here enter text i love programming okay doctor turing is the father of computer science okay this is just you know all right turing or, or dr turing I suppose okay enigma machine was able to detest world war two okay i love apple okay uh blue company loves blue color so there you have it so in this case okay let us check if that data was reversed i don't know if it was it was reversed no let's check that let us check that what happened <laughs> okay let us check that again okay i love apple blue company loves blue color so print uh oops okay wait okay okay please wait okay let us put it right here okay i think there was uh there is an error right here what is the error i will check that print line okay encrypt data line uh nc1 plus str count in uh, four count one in in c1 ecr plus oh i will uh, what do you call this i will check it that again check count one okay let us run the program again i will reduce this to two only okay okay let's run the python program okay hello world Oops, sorry. I just want to check if this is correct. Okay, I will put it right here. Okay, kissing to the main program. Okay, line, then, oops, okay. okay that's it. So I have return, oops. Is the R okay, equals to Okay, let us check this. Then return str. 
Okay, str count plus one. Let us check that. Okay, sometimes you can activate those errors. Okay, we'll just put here hello world. Okay, so there you have it. So we have here draw hello. That's correct. So we need to, um, you know, we need to increase this by three. Okay, let us check. Let us run the program again. Wait, sorry. Return outside the function. Okay. So we have to run again. I have three run. Oops, sorry, sorry, class. We have to run it again. Run Python program. Okay, this is it. Let us check. Hello, world. I love Apple. Apple machine. Okay. Assembly. Language is cool. So we have here. Okay. This is the output right now. These are the inputs. We uh, yeah, entered only three lines right here. Okay. So that we can evade just encoding. Now, I love Apple machine. Assembly language is cool. These are the encrypted text. The encrypted text are the following. Okay, this, these are the plain text, plain text, and these are the encrypted text. This is now the result of uh, that code that we created at the top of the program. Okay, here. Alright, so please don't forget to share and like this channel. Thank you so much for watching.